When it comes to creating sturdy homes, high-rises, and grand palaces, nothing is as important as laying proper foundations first. Just like a tree relies on roots anchoring into soil, a building must have solid bedrock beneath itself. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Civil Mentors. In today's episode, we'll break down the importance and different types of foundation used for various structures, and the factors that influence its selection. So without further ado, let's dive in. Imagine trying to balance a book on top of a pencil. It's nearly impossible, right? Now replace that pencil with a wider, flat surface like a table, and suddenly the book stays balanced. In the same way, foundations help distribute the weight of a building across a larger area, preventing it from sinking or collapsing. Building foundations serve as the primary support system for any structure. They form the critical connection between the building and the ground, ensuring that the weight of the structure is evenly distributed across the underlying soil. The importance of a well-designed foundation cannot be overstated. A strong foundation is vital for the long-term stability and safety of any structure. The failure of foundation can be disastrous. From structural damage and costly repairs to even complete building collapse, a faulty foundation is no laughing matter. That's why engineers spend countless hours designing and analyzing the perfect foundation for each unique project. Foundations come in various types, ranging from shallow ones like strip footings and isolated footings, to deep ones such as pile foundations and drilled shafts. The selection of a foundation type depends on factors like soil conditions, building design, and load requirements. Shallow foundations, also known as spread footings, are typically used when the soil near the ground surface has enough bearing capacity to support the building's load. Let's take a look at some of its most common types. Strip footing. These foundations are commonly used for walls or closely spaced columns, distributing the load evenly across the length of the structure. Isolated or individual footing. They are designed to support single columns. Isolated footings are square or rectangular concrete pads that transfer column loads to the ground. Combined footing. When columns are situated in close proximity, combined footings distribute the load of multiple columns to the underlying soil, ensuring structural stability and resilience. Raft or mat foundation. Envision a large concrete slab functioning as a supportive platform for an entire structure. Raft foundations are ideal for circumstances where the soil has low bearing capacity or the building features a high number of columns. Deep foundations transfer the building's load to a deeper, more stable layer of soil or rock. They are often used when the ground near the surface has poor bearing capacity or when the building is subjected to large lateral forces. Let's explore the primary types of deep foundations. Piles are like the strong pillars beneath your structure, made of concrete, steel, or timber, and driven or bored deep into the ground. There are various types of piles, such as end-bearing piles, friction piles, and caissons, each suited for specific conditions. Drilled shafts, also known as caissons or bored piles, these deep foundation elements are created by drilling a hole in the ground and filling it with concrete, often reinforced with steel. They're perfect for transferring loads to stable soil layers or bedrock. Pier Foundation Piers are vertical columns, often made of reinforced concrete or masonry, that transfer loads to a stable layer of soil or rock. These foundations are used for bridges, dams, and other large structures. Here is a fun fact. Did you know that the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, stands on 192 piles that reach 164 feet deep into the ground? Now that's some serious foundation strength. Foundations are a critical component of any building, ensuring its stability and durability. The selection of the right foundation depends on various factors such as soil conditions, building load, environmental factors and construction cost and time. Civil engineers play a crucial role in designing, selecting and overseeing the construction of foundations, ultimately ensuring the safety and longevity of our built environment. When it comes to choosing the right foundation, the soil holds the key. The Leaning Tower of Pisa and its unintentional tilt is due to uneven settling of its foundation on soft soil. Thanks to modern engineering techniques, we now know how to avoid such situations and keep our buildings standing tall. The type of soil and its bearing capacity are critical factors in determining the appropriate foundation for a building, 
Soil tests, such as the Standard Penetration Test, or SPT, and Cone Penetration Test, or CPT, are used to assess the soil's characteristics and determine its suitability for supporting the structure. In areas with soft clay or loose sand, deep foundations may be required to transfer the building's load to a more stable soil layer. The weight and distribution of the building's load also play a significant role in selecting the right foundation. Heavier structures or those with uneven load distribution may require specialized foundations to ensure stability. Environmental factors such as flood risk, frost heave, and seismic activity also influence foundation selection. In areas prone to flooding, for example, the foundation may need to be elevated or designed to resist hydrostatic pressure. In regions with high seismic activity, buildings may require specialized foundations with seismic isolators or base isolation systems to protect them from the damaging effects of earthquakes. Construction cost and time constraints are important considerations. The selection of a foundation type can significantly impact the overall project budget and timeline. Shallow foundations are generally less expensive and faster to construct than deep foundations. However, if the soil conditions necessitate the use of deep foundations, additional time and resources must be allocated to ensure a stable and safe structure. And that's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content. Got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment down below. Until then, peace out.